Welcome back to Trends and Friends. Jolyn Payne from Rocking Pod Training and Kennels is here today to talk about how to keep your pets safe from those pesky plants that start growing in your yard. Hey, Jolyn. Hello, my name is Jolyn Payne and I am the owner and trainer of Rocking Pod Dog Training and Kennels out here in Ropesville, Texas. And we are talking about weather this month here on Trends and Friends and how it affects your dog. So today we're talking about things that grow because we think of spring, it could be wild things that are growing, it could be things that you want to plant. Because right now when we think of spring, we just think of new life and abundance and all these wonderful things, but we wanna protect our dogs at the same time. The first weed that y'all are gonna be seeing is this one. This is called Henbet non-stinging nettle. I think it's called dead nettle, which means that it is non-stinging. It is a member of the mint family, and so it is an edible, and this one is not gonna hurt your dog. This, which you're seeing growing everywhere, so if you look behind me, there's tons of it because it's been too, too, too wet to weed eat or mow at the moment, is a family of the mustard uh, weed. And so this weed, is not toxic in this state. However, it has two compounds in it that when something either mulches it or starts chewing on it, that with those two compounds together, it becomes a little toxic to our animals. It can cause GI upsets, um, and so you'll see some diarrhea, some vomiting. So you wanna make sure that you're mowing this and getting this pulled up so that the dogs are not just grazing on it. Also, it is one of those types of weeds that will absorb all your pesticides and fertilizers and things like that. So even without those other two compounds that it has, you want to make sure that you, if you are um, fertilizing or if you are putting down um, a weed killer, that you're getting this up so the dogs aren't chewing on it after you spread that because it just becomes more toxic for the dogs. Uh, we also have lots of other things that come up in spring. If you think about warmth and you think about rain, you think about toads. We're going to have little baby toads everywhere pretty soon, especially if we keep having wet weather. What happens when our dogs are little puppies that are very curious and they see these little toads jumping across the ground, they're going to want to put them in their mouth. You're going to see your dogs foaming at the mouth, maybe some diarrhea, maybe some vomiting and you're gonna get worried. So make sure that you're you're actually supervising your dogs outside when it's wet and they're not eating those little jumping critters. Um, there are a lot of plants that you want to put in your garden, that you want to put in your backyard that are not safe for your dog. One of those plants is a sago palm. Make sure a sago palm is not planted anywhere near that your dogs can get to them. It is highly toxic to your dogs and will cause neurological damage. Um, another tree that I was just looking at to plant for shade is going to be a crab apple tree. And a crab apple tree is also toxic to dogs. So make sure that you're not planting what, one of those in your backyard as well. Um, when you go to Lowe's or you go to Home Depot or you go to your nursery, make sure and take your phone with you. That way when you are there, you can pull up whatever plant that you're interested in because not all these plants, in fact, none of these plants have any kind of warnings for our pets on the labels. And we wanna make sure that we're keeping our pets safe this spring and that we aren't accidentally causing any kind of toxic reaction. When you are going to spray, when you are going to fertilize, make sure and check the, the ingredients, make sure and check the directions and see how long that your animals have to stay off of these products so that they don't absorb them. Absorb them. All of their pores are in their feet and when they walk across it, they absorb it. Pesticides and fertilizers are one of the number one reasons that our dogs get cancer. Let's help keep them safe and keep them off for the recommended time. All right, y'all. Keep your dogs safe and have a happy spring.